Hi gang, it's Nicole with Electro Yogi Electrolysis. And today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite subject or my nemesis as it were, which is laser hair removal and laser's impact on electrolysis, laser's impact on your hair, and when to do laser, when to do electrolysis, because nobody knows and everybody asks me, and if I had a dollar for every time someone came to us for the very first time and they have lasered parts of their body, especially their face, and they're crying because they have more hair than they ever had before, I would be retired by now. But sadly, I am not. So I wanna help you, I wanna educate you guys on what laser really is, what electrolysis really is, and how to tell the difference and how to know what to do. First of all, electrolysis is the only permanent hair, re method, hair removal method that exists. Electrolysis is the only permanent hair removal method that exists. Why? Because we get to do two things. The FDA will tell you only electrolysis is permanent and permanent over time, anywhere on your body. But we get to do two things and they're critical to never seeing a nasty, fierce, unwanted hair anywhere again. One is we destroy the tissue that holds a hair follicle that that unwanted hair comes out of. That's number one. Number two, through our electric current, through the different types of current, we also cauterize meaning we seal off the entry point of the blood supply that acts as the food source for all unwanted hair. So imagine, if you're not eating, eventually you're gonna to starve to death and die. The same is true with what we get to do with the tip of our sterilized needle, permanently destroying that follicle and cauterizing the blood supply. That is what makes electrolysis permanent. And we do it hair by hair, follicle by follicle. It can seem like this might take forever, but believe it or not, for most people, in less than two years, anywhere on your body, head to toe, your unwanted hair in that area can be gone forever. No ifs, ands, or buts. Now let's talk about laser. What is laser? Laser is literally a laser beam of light-based radiation, and what it does is it goes over the surface of your tissues in the hopes of finding contrast in your hair follicles that sickens those cells and hopefully kills them. But what happens with laser is because it's not starving that blood supply entry point, it's not cauterizing that blood that is the food of the hair, oftentimes laser will sicken the cells, hairs will fall out, they'll be gone for a period of time eventually they come crawling back and in certain parts of the body they come back faster than others in some parts of the body you might have an 80 percent reduction on the face which tends to be most of our Achilles heels when people laser the face even transgender with full beards it might reduce it for a long period of time but then eventually it starts coming back Maybe not 100% of it, but a lot of it. And then what I see all the time, why I would be rich if people knew this already, is that with laser hair removal on the face, for most women, they come and they wanna get a few unwanted hairs on the chin, but what really happens is that they laser it and they end up with a little forest of hair. So we don't want you to have a forest. We wanna get rid of each and every follicle forever without you having to go down that path that you then have to chase good money after bad. That's the key difference between electrolysis and laser. And when you come to Electro Yogi, or maybe we'll be making a post about it in the near future, we're gonna teach you what parts of the body are more effective with laser, what parts of the body where you laser first and electrolysis second, and then where you never ever want a laser. And then we'll talk about the other temporary methods of hair removal too, because those really can get you. So I hope you enjoyed our talk today about the differences between electrolysis and laser and when to do which. And stay tuned for our next update. Have a good day.